What's happening, peeps? <clears throat> Hopefully, y'all can hear me. This is um, I'm on my uh, my patio here, a little porch. Is it a patio or a porch? I don't know. I'm outside on the, on the screen. Right now. But anyway, um, just want to share a thought that I had uh, the other day. Um, so this is gonna be a pretty short video. I said here, contrary to mainstream Christian belief, the bl blood of Jesus covers a multitude of sin and he saves from the uttermost to the guttermost. Amen. Also, contrary to popular Christian belief, and it's mostly the uppity, self-righteous Christians, Christians, end quote, we're all part of the guttermost. For all have sinned, fallen short of the glory of God, right? The word also says that there's none righteous, there's none that's good. There's none that seeks after God, you know? We love the Lord because he first loved us, right? I don't think there was any one of us that was like actively looking for the Lord um, the Bible says if I be lifted up I'll draw all men I'll draw all men it's the Lord through the, the power of the Holy Spirit that drew us to him and it was most likely because at some point we heard the, the word of truth right and that drew us in we weren't seeking after him. So there's none righteous, there's none good, there's none that seek after God. Right? But the Bible also says we all like sheep have gone astray. We all like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone, everyone, to his own way. But listen to this, the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. So all of us are just full of iniquities, but the Lord showed his love and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, right? He laid down his life for us. He, he, he gave it willingly, free, freely. His life wasn't taken from him. He laid down his life for us. So, understanding that none of us is righteous according to the word of God, none of us is good according to the word of God, there's no room for any of us to boast about how good we are. The, the, the simple fact that you can even make that claim shows the amount of pride that is within you. Anyone who makes that claim, and we know that pride is sin. <laughs> so where's the goodness? Where's the goodness? Outside of Jesus Christ, sorry. The police is after somebody. <laughs> Probably them liars out there who say they ain't got no sin. But anyway. None of us can, can boast that we're, that we're good about anything. Because none of us is good. Um, it's only because of Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross at Calvary that uh, we are. It's because of his goodness that we're good. It's because of his righteousness that we're righteous. It's because of his perfection that we are perfect, but it only comes in putting our faith and belief in him and what he did on the cross, right? Not our faith in him and our faith in ourselves, because what are who are we? We're no one. Outside of Christ, we're nothing, right? He's the true vine. And from that vine are the branches. 
right? We are connected to Him. And without Him, we're nothing. And I wish more people would would come to that understanding. But anyway. Just remember guys, without Jesus Christ, we are nothing. And we'll never be anything without him. If you're not saved, it's real simple. Um, you just have to understand that you are a sinner in need of a savior. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Because we've all sinned, we're all deserving of hell, and damnation, eternal separation from the Lord. But it's not God's desire that any should perish, but all, that all should come to repentance. What is repentance? Repentance is simply changing your mind. You know, changing your mind about what you believe. You don't believe in Christ. Now you believe in him, you've changed your mind, you've repented. Once you acknowledge that, once you acknowledge that you're a sinner in need of a savior, you know, you just believe on what he did for you. He shed his blood for your sins, for our sins. He shed his blood for the sins of the world. He was buried and he rose again on the third day, proving that he is God. And because he's God, only he has the the, the power to remove to remove sin. Muhammad can't do it, Buddha can't do it, whatever other gods out there, they can't do it because they're all dead. <laughs> They're still in the grave. That proves that they're not God. Trust and believe in Jesus Christ today. It's so simple. Once you believe on him and what he did on the cross, you are immediately filled with the Holy Spirit and sealed for all eternity that means that once that happens when you die you'll go right to heaven and if you should happen to be alive when that uh, trumpet sounds you'll just be caught up along with our deceased brothers and sisters and we'll all meet the Lord in the year but just know it's uh, because of the sacrifice of, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's because of his sacrifice that we have become reconciled back to God. It's no sacrifice that we can make because what we do for the Lord pales in, in, in comparison to what he's already done for us, right? It's by grace that we are saved through faith, not of ourselves, it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You can't boast. Y'all stop that boasting. It's prideful. Humble yourselves. Humble yourselves. Humble yourself. Because pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. So, all you out there who talk about, you know, once you get saved, you don't sin anymore. You do still sin. The flesh keeps on fleshing, even after salvation. Um, but thank God for the blood of Jesus. Thank God for his mercy and thank God for his grace. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I rather depend on the Lord's grace than uh, than bet on my own ability to to uh, to be a good person. I'm just saying. 
going to shore bet G, uh, Jesus. <laughs> the shore bet is Jesus. Stick with him and you can't go wrong. All right. I love y'all. Peace. God bless.